Uh, here's what I want you to do at some point. I want you to list, not right now, but later, make a note. I want you to list your top 10 tasks that you do every single day. Currently, I'm not saying what you hope to do. I'm saying what you actually currently do, right? Your top 10 tasks that you do every single day. Then I want you to organize them in order of importance from highest priority to lowest priority from one to 10, okay? Follow me so far? Yes. Then I want you to circle the top three. Okay, I'm giving you the steps of how to do this later. Then I want you to circle the top three. Then I want you to eventually try to Get someone else to do the bottom seven. All right, that's good. That's super. I want you to eventually get someone else to do the bottom seven. Okay, there's three things I do every single day. I promote, I drive revenue, and I build relationships. That's it. Yeah. If it doesn't fit in that, do you think I do it? No, no I don't. I don't. Okay, I do not, right? So that's how I have gained my time back because time is the most valuable asset we have. Yes or yes? yes. yes. Time is the most valuable asset we have. Yes or yes? yes? Okay, now what are you spending your time on? What do you do throughout your day? Does it help you get to the end? Or does it actually distract you from getting to the end? Does it hold you back from getting to the end? Or are you highly productive and successful at doing your best to get to the end? When you wake up, what do you think about doing for the day? When you go to bed, what do you think about doing for the next day? Right? Like how often are we just, as Nate says, scrolling through social media? How often do we know we have, do we have two appointments set for the week, but we don't want to pick up the phone? Okay, well, I've been there too, by the way, right? I get it. But I want you to start thinking about those tasks and eventually getting to where you dominate three things every single day. Why? Because it's e is it easier to go throughout a day if you just had to do three things every single day? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, what am I doing now? Okay, am I promoting? I think I am. Okay, I'm on video. Am I, am I, am I, I'm driving revenue? Well, I'm actually going backwards, okay? Uh, <laughs> however, <laughs> but am I building relationships? Yes, I'm meeting a lot of amazing people here, all of you, et cetera, okay? That's what's big. So figure that out, right? Who's going to do that task later? Say I. Uh, or raise your hand. Or both. I. There we go. <laughs> I. Okay? All right. Number three, strategies. Okay, strategies for recruiting. Strategies for finding people. The strategies. I'm gonna give you a few unique strategies right now, okay? Produce content, put out content constantly. Yeah. Start thinking about if you were gonna put out content, what would it be about? And don't think about what are your friends gonna think because you shot a video. Freaking, who cares, right. okay? They're not, probably not shooting videos anyway, okay? Or if they're, 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 everybody thinks they're like a social media expert nowadays because they know how to log into Facebook, okay? Let's keep it real. They don't know anything either, okay? Right. So it's fine, okay? I showed my dad how to start doing weekly recruiting webinars every Friday. You probably see some of the ads now. Every single Friday. But he doesn't call them a recruiting webinar. It's a training webinar. Six steps to get to six figures, right? Stuff like that. And we, he, they change up the title every week. Our marketing company runs ads for them from Monday through Thursday, and then on Friday they get on and they have 100 people register every week. Come on now. And I'm giving it away. And they get a handful of agents minimum every single week. Now they spend a thousand bucks a week. You don't have to, you could start smaller. Because you could say, well, I'm gonna start with uh, my email list. I'm gonna start with social media. I'm gonna start with warm market, right? I'm gonna start by doing other avenues instead of actually spending money. Because then, you, then guess what you do when, I, when, when, when you do a webinar, guess what you just did? You just produced content that you can then add to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. See where we're going? All because you just did one thing every single Friday. 
it's changed the game for them now that they've actually started implementing that every single week. Who's going to implement that one? Okay. Come on now. <laughs> the third strategy that I'm going to share under strategies would be to eventually build out a team of people that are recruiting and building and hiring salespeople for you. Because that may not be on your top three list. Or it may be. Or maybe it's to manage a team of recruiters. Maybe that's my top three, right? So I want you to think about if you had to do that, what would it look like? Okay, what would you do and how would you do it? All right? I believe in having a sales, building out a sales team for everything I do all the time. Every company, I want a sales team. So I told my, told my trainer at Snap Fitness in Springfield, Missouri, I'm like, dude, during COVID, I'm like, you, you need people on the phones. You need people freaking banging on the phones and getting people in here, right? I mean, do you think I could come up with a script to sell like some personal training or to get somebody back in, in, on a new membership or, you know, to get someone to come in to, for a free stretching session or what a free evaluation, height and weight, whatever, tape measure, all that stuff, right? Yes. Webinar. Yep. Some, th th that's the strategy as a, as a weekly webinar. Now you may get to where, dude, I need a month. I'm going to do one a month. I can't spend a lot of money right now, but I'm going to do one a month and I'm going to try to get 100 people to register over four weeks. Okay. Then that's a little easier to start. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is good because some of you would be like, man, I don't have four grand a month. Okay. <laughs> Who by show of hands, who's like, I don't really have four grand a month to just spend on something that isn't going to give me cash this moment I spend it. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. You do. Shut up. You do. You do. Okay. <laughs> It's like 17 grand last month. Come on. Okay. Come on. All right. Fifth, uh, sorry, fourth point. Fourth point. Scale now. Scale now. Scale now. S C A L E. Scale now. Right? Why wait? If I know I need to do something, I need to do it now. I need to take action now. I don't need to think about it, right? I don't need to put it off. Okay? Like, we, we, I literally had. We have over 100 staff between secure insurance groups, secure agent marketing, CA, and 8%. I had zero staff August of 2017. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> what? It's insane. We have 15,000 square feet. When we first started, we had 1,500, actually. That's a webinar title, how to go from 1,500 square feet to 15,000. Come on now, right? Okay, right? It's got to be attractive. Who doesn't want 15,000 square feet of office space? Some of you are like, well, I don't need it. Well, shoot, you can build an empire without it. Right? That one, uh, EXP Realty, they don't have office space, right? 100% virtual. They're in these weird virtual reality worlds and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Okay. All right. And I would say that uh, 2017... You know what's funny? 2017, I did not do a million dollars in revenue. Now we're gonna do 13 plus in 2021. Okay, what does that mean to you? Amen to that, okay, give her a hand, I love that. Okay, come on now. It is possible, right? Like my favorite speech on YouTube is by Les Brown. It's not over until I win. That in, 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 that, in that keynote, he says it's not over until I win a lot. And I believed it. The question is, do you? Right? Because for you to scale now, you've got to believe that it's going to work out. The one thing that holds people back is their fear of spending money, by the way. Their fear of spending money. By show of hands, who's got that one? Okay. I'm telling you, you cannot build an empire if you're scared to freaking sh do this. Okay. Why do you think I do this, by the way? Okay, well, what else? What else? Two things, giving back and gain uh, much, I mean, much more. Yeah, that's good. Encouragement? Encouragement, yes. 
Yes, it's good. Well, then it's fluid. Then it's available. It's You're totally sure. freaking available. Yes. Yes, it helps. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yes. Okay. I love that. That's actually absolutely true. By the way. Okay. Good. Good answer. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Give her a hand. I like that. That's good. Because do you need attention to do whatever you wrote down earlier of what you wanted, what the end to look like? Do you need attention for that to happen, by the way? I believe you do. Okay. I believe you do. Right? I had more fun Thursday night on stage. Um, this is like a dialed down version of me right, right now. I had more fun on stage Thursday night than I've ever had in my life. I had Jeremy Whitaker. Uh, I've been hanging out with him for the last year. He came up to me and he's like, dude, that was, and he's, he's heard me a lot too. He said, that's the, be- Marlon actually said the same thing. That was the best I've ever heard you by far. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. But, but, it's, but most people don't know, I grew up watching my grandfather as a Baptist pastor for 40, 50 years, and, which is why you don't hear me curse, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and I, that's why when, when somebody was up there yesterday, yeah. they were like, they, they didn't say F to Cody. Yeah, yeah. I won't do that if you let me speak. <laughs> just not, it's just not me, right? So... So my, and guess what? Did I get everybody's attention from stage without it, by the way? Yes. Most people think you need it. I think I need whatever I want, right? That's what I think, okay? Now, I don't know where I was going with this story, but, oh, oh, I do now, okay? That happens a lot, by the way. Who else is like, okay, I start talking, and then I see 12 squirrels, and I don't know what I got, okay? What happened, though, is when I was watching my grandfather and go to, like, these revivals and camp meetings and stuff, at 10 years old, I said, I want to be a public speaker when I grow up. At 10. I talk about how you got to go there before you can go there, right? I was going there, and I didn't even know what I was doing. And I, so I, I literally, um, after Thursday night's keynote, uh, I mean, it's, if you ever get a chance to speak on stage, it's a freaking rush, by the way. Holy crap, it's a rush, man. The energy, it's just insane. But I was, le- as I was, I, was, I was in the back of the room for a second, I like started to tear up a little bit because I'm like, man, I got to do this more. I freaking love doing this. It's so amazing, okay? And would you getting on stages and speaking and being a better version of you help you with the end goal of whatever you're wanting, okay? I'm telling you it can. And if you're like, you know, if you feel like I'm not very good at speaking, well, number one, the reason that you're saying that is a problem, okay? How you talk to yourself matters, right? But also, go look at my YouTube videos from 2015. You'll laugh too. Freaking horrible, okay? <laughs> Awful. However, you have to start somewhere. That's right, man. That's right. Okay, that's right. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Who likes money, okay? Come on now, come on now, come on now. All right, all right. Okay, two more, two more, sorry.